Ambassador John Bolton joins me now, the author of The Rumor It Happened with the new forward, as mentioned. And it's quite a hefty, muscular forward it is. I think some 28 pages. And you get a lot in there. So what worries you most about Donald Trump uh, taking office again? And without some of the guardrails, let's say, some of the cabinet members who surrounded him in the national security cabinet the last time? Well, I think there are two main things to worry about. One is in national security, where there's no telling what he's going to do. I, I personally, for example, am convinced he will withdraw from NATO. Uh, which would be a catastrophic mistake, but I think that's what he will do. In the middle of the war with Ukraine, when NATO is fighting the war, I mean, NATO doesn't, is supplying them with weapons and doesn't have to fight the war, or put soldiers in. You know, this look, I think this is uh, something he, he feels strongly about. He thinks the Europeans still aren't paying their fair share. He thinks they have negotiated very negative trade deals with us. I, I think he's looking forward to getting out of NATO, and it's something really that uh, that's not going to get much discussion in this country. I think the other aspect is uh, what I call the retribution presidency. I think he is going to spend much of his second term going after his enemies and uh, using the Justice Department or trying to use the Justice Department or the Defense Department uh, to do so. What about his relationship with Vladimir Putin, Xi Jinping? You raise the, that point because he seems to like strongmen. He says he he believes in being a strong man. Yeah, Trump, Trump thinks international affairs really are synonymous with the personal relationships between heads of state. So if he has a good relationship with Vladimir Putin, then U.S.-Russian relations are good. Uh, same with Xi Jinping. Now, that's fantasy, but that's what he thinks. So in the case of Ukraine, where he has said, I'm going to get Zelensky and Putin into a room, we'll solve this in 24 hours. Uh, it won't be solved in 24 hours, but of course, that won't be Donald Trump's fault. It'll be somebody else's. I think he'll blame Zelensky. I think Putin's just waiting for that to happen. Nikki Haley is the last standing Republican candidate right now challenging him. Um, you know her record at the U.N. She followed you there at the U.N. Uh, what? What is your take? Well, I, I hope she stays in the race up until the convention. I think I, I think she ought to say that now, uh, because I think she could carry the banner for everybody who doesn't like Donald Trump, whether they support her or someone else. A meteor could still strike. There could be something in one of the criminal trials that finally wakes people up that if we're not careful, uh, in August, Republicans will nominate a convicted felon for the presidency. So uh, it's, uh, it's a long shot, to be sure. But I think there is something, and I think others who, even if they dropped out of the race, like Chris Christie or Asa Hutchison, who were critical of Trump, need to keep making the case, uh, because there's yet a chance that we might deny Trump the nomination. Do you think Nikki Haley is qualified to be president? Well, look, I'd vote for a cardboard cutout for president at this point, and I think she's more qualified than Donald Trump, which I'll concede isn't saying much. But you would not vote for the net, for the Democratic likely. <laughs> no, and I didn't. I didn't in 2020. I, I wrote in the name of a conservative Republican because it wasn't on the ballot. I'm, I think I'm, I'm in the middle of a two-front war. One is the philosophical war against the Democratic Party, which is a very serious matter. The other is against the the danger, the risk that Donald Trump poses. And it's not a happy position to be in, but uh, but that's where it is. And to, to you, it's his character. It's his competence, or, or lack thereof. Uh, he, he's not fit to be president. One reason is, uh, is his character. He doesn't have a character flaw. He doesn't have any character at all. The one thing that concerns him is Donald Trump. And that's why national security and domestic policy are hostage to whatever his own political fortunes are. John Bolton, Ambassador, thank you very much for being with us. Glad to be with you.